Indigenous artisans and makers often had vast distances between them, but they were never truly isolated from each other or limited to their own local materials. Uh, this dance shirt is a truly eclectic example of how the trade of materials and ideas can really come together into one garment. Uh, we see along the neck and the shoulders of this piece these really distinctive bright floral patterns that have a lot of Meti influence from the other side of the country. This dance shirt is a truly eclectic example of how the trade of materials and ideas can come together in one garment. Uh, despite the introduction of glass seed beads from European fur traders and explorers from both directions in Canada, the tiny glass seed beads that you see here are really what allowed this kind of design work to explode and become more popular throughout the country. There's a really beautiful mix of small, tiny color and metalwork beads that are really just framed by these beautiful seed and bugle beads that show the vines running through the work. Despite the presence of the floral beadwork, on the back of this shirt you have this line of beaded and fur trim, which when still like this, just kind of catch your eye, but you can only imagine that when this shirt was worn and being danced with, that you just have this beautiful sway and movement on the shirt. Uh, the lower half of this shirt features design elements that are more commonly associated with the Northwest Coast. Uh, two lines of mother-of-pearl buttons frame a really simple repeating flower pattern that are made of the same buttons. You truly get the sense that this could be a treasured piece of clothing in a family, um, not only from the patience and the handwork that went into it, but also the small repairs that have been done to this work over time and generations to ensure that this piece could keep going.